Hello, it's Kari Mason from FirstClassCreativity.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card with my digital studio. I selected that and now I'm going over to the Design Center and I'm selecting background papers. I'm selecting designer series paper and I selected Savor the Season designer series paper. Clicked on number three. And I'm adding that as a page layer. I'm going to go into crop and I'm going to make it a little bit narrower and longer and I'm going to bring it down here. I want to make it a little bit higher so I'm going to go ahead and bring this down like that so that looks good and if you want to be if you're a real technical person and you like to do things by measurements you can see the measurements as you are cropping uh, so you know exactly the measurement of it. I, I'm a kind of a I kind of girl, so um, that's how I ended up with that. Uh, now I'm going to go over here to this resource palette. I selected the stamps. Again, this is Savor the Season. I'm selecting this grid lines. And when it came here, it was in black, but then I chose the color up here. And, it's, and I selected old olive so everything would be old olive and I'm going to go ahead and send that to the back so it's behind this other grid line paper and even though they're both different size grid lines it still looks really cool and it's going to look even better when I put my cherry cobbler seam binding in and so I went over here to the flower which is the embellishments and I'm going to go ahead and select the seam binding ribbon I'm going to make it just a little bit narrower I'm selecting the seam binding bow and I'm going to make that a little smaller because you don't want it too big for the card. And once I see how the bow looks, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the ribbon accordingly so it's kind of in proportion. Okay, now I'm going back to my stamp set. Oops, under the resource palette. And I'm going to go ahead and click Choose Color and select Black. And then it goes and changes everything over here to black. Now I'm going to go find the uh, stamp that says Christmas Party and I'm going to put it right in the middle there. And then I'm going to look for Please Come. I'm just going to scroll down here and I will find the Please Join Us. There we go. Now this kind of gets lost with the grids so what I'm going to do is go over back to the resource palette and select the punches I'm using the one and a quarter one and a quarter inch square I'm pulling it out a little bit because it's a vector file so this you can kind of manipulate a little bit more I'm going to kind of center it on the page I can also do that by using this align feature right here I can align it center and it'll go ahead and align it right where I want it. I'm going to color fill it in, in white and I'm going to do a uh, matte in cherry cobbler. I'm going to move this up to 8 and you can see it in, makes the matte larger. And then I'm going to choose cherry cobbler. Click OK and then I'm going to send this backward. I might have to do it two or three times. There we go, two times. And there I have Christmas Party. Now I can also create another layer here because layers always look nice on a card even if it's like a printed card. And I'm just going to go ahead and just make the layers a little bit like this. And again I'm going to go ahead and mat this with Old Olive. And then I'm going to color fill it with Whisper White. And I'm going to go ahead and send it backwards, probably around two times. And there I have my Christmas party invitation ready to be sent out in the mail. Now if I want to put the inside in, you're going to have to check back to my next tutorial to find out how you do that. So if you have any questions, please contact me at www.firstclasscreativity.com. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, happy crafting.